What's up, brodies? Welcome to The Bourbon Effect. My name is Tunji, and you already know what it is. So let's talk. So I'm gonna just jump straight into it, all right? Today, we're gonna be talking about why women call men sassy, insecure, to gain control and manipulate them, all right? As a man, you need to know off bat that obviously, physically, we are stronger than women. And in order to level the playing field, what is one thing that we know women are good at? Using their words, okay? Anybody who's anybody knows that when you hear certain words and certain phrases, um, some of them can hurt, some of them can cut deep. You have to be mentally strong in order for these things not to affect you. And when it comes to women, because they know that physically they are not as strong as us there is something that they need to have in order to level the playing field and that is their words as a man you shouldn't let words affect you you shouldn't let them cut deep into you cut into your psyche affect you uh reduce your confidence you need to know off the top of your head that no matter what anybody says to you that should not sway you from uh, being as confident as you are and women know that if they use certain phrases and certain words they can manipulate you and these words especially today are sassy and insecure now why do women constantly use these words and i'm gonna tell you why Women have ways of manipulating men to do what they want you to do. And this is manipulating you. This is emasculating you. And certain words and phrases that they use are insecure, sassy, um, uh, you know, uh, small dick energy, all this, all these other crap and stupid phrases that they like to use against us whenever we do something that they don't like now you have to understand there, that there's a reality here when it comes to women they are going to say these things in order for you to conform to what they want you to do they are going to say these things in order for you to do the things that they want you to do and if you don't do these things and if you don't agree with them when it comes to these certain things they will use these phrases and they will use these words against you. As a man, you need to understand that no, no matter what they say to you or they say against you, you have to remain stoic. I know initially when you first hear these things, um, it's very easy to get triggered because there's nothing that you are doing that is causing for her to call you insecure. There's nothing that you're doing uh, for her to call you sassy especially when it comes to you having your own standards women have their standards just like we have our standards and if they're calling you sassy and insecure because you are trying to hold them up to the standards that you have for them then they're not the ones for you move on to another girl who can understand your standards and respect them because they want us to be six foot they want us to be uh, bigger than six inches. They want us to have six figures. They want us to have go, uh, a nice car, our own apartment. They want us to have all these things. They have a list of standards that they have for us and we don't complain. And even when we do complain, it's more, it's mostly because they have such a, uh, swayed mindset of what they think a man should have, especially by a certain age. A lot of these girls think that majority of the population of men are making six figures or they're supposed to make six figures well at least they think that more men are making six figures than they actually are they don't understand that that's not a lot of guys that's not a lot of men that's that's in the upper percentile as men we are more simple creatures the things that we ask for isn't too much to ask all we want you is to be feminine friendly make food for us, be submissive, and not dress like a hoe. That's literally all we ask for. 
I understand from the female's perspective and from women's perspective, when they are not dating a guy, um, they want to dress sexy. They want to look attractive. They want to, I mean, honestly, I don't even care if you're single. There's just certain things that just look distasteful on women. But at the same, at the same time, I understand on why women will like to dress good. They like to dress sexy because that's their way of letting men know like, Hey, I am on the market. But once you are in a relationship, it's not that you can't dress sexy or it's not that they can't dress sexy. It's just that if you're going to dress like that, dress like that with me, dress like that when you are with me. I have been in a relationship with my ex to where we go out and she'd wear some sexy ass shit and I have nothing. I have no problem with it. There are even once in a while where she likes to go out with her friends every here and there, but she she's she's cognizant of what she wears even before she'd go out with her girlfriends like i understand like some guys don't fuck with uh their girls having ladies night and shit like that for me like i honestly don't care like i've never had an issue with it you just can't be doing it way too often and then also like you gotta be careful what you wear and getting to that when it came to my ex, if she would go out with her friends or some shit like that, she'll ask me, hey, does this look lo good? Which one should I wear? That was kind of her way in saying like, hey, do you fuck with this thing? She would show me what she was about to wear before she would wear it because she already knows how I am. Like, I ain't just going to let you just wear anything. Like, if you want to go out with your friends, fine. But if you're going to wear some scantily clad shit, fuck no. And if you want to do that, you can be single and do that. I'm not going to tolerate that. It's compromise. It's very, it's very straightforward. It's just compromise. I'm not saying you, we're not saying that they can't dress sexy. We're not saying that they can't do these certain things, but we have standards the same way that they have standards. And the fact that when we want to uphold them to our standards, we're sassy, we're insecure. They believe that they can do whatever they want, whenever they want, however they want, and we should accept them for how they are as is and that's just not reality as a grown-ass man i have standards the same way that you have standards and if you don't want to uphold to those standards you can be single go to another chump who's going to take it because honestly there are a lot of simps out here but now we are in a stage where a lot of guys are being more informed watching more of the manosphere content self-improvement content now they're starting to have more confidence in themselves. They're starting to build themselves up. Now they're starting to uphold themselves to the standards that they want. And women are having a problem with this. That's one of the big reasons why women have an issue with the Manosphere content. And I don't really like to include myself in red pill content and shit like that. I just like to categorize myself in the male self-improvement. Um, possibly Manosphere, yeah. But... The reason why they have an issue with this is because more and more men are waking up and they're starting to have standards and they're starting to uh, enforce those standards on women and women don't want to do that because they've been so used to doing whatever the fuck they want, however they want, and guys are just taking it. Now we're getting on a rift where the power dynamic is starting to shift a little bit more now to where dudes are just like, fuck that. No, nah, you're not wearing that. You're not going to this girl's trip. You're not doing this. And you know what happens when you do that? That's when the sassy starts to come in. That's when you're, you're insecure. And they say this because they want to trigger you. They want to make you feel bad. They want to emasculate you and literally tell you, how dare you, you tell me what I can and cannot do. Even if it's reasonable. They will call you sassy. They will call you insecure. They will call you all these things so you can conform to what they want you to do. Because you as a man, how dare you have standards? And you want to know the funniest part is that when you start to improve yourself as a man, just look at how your girlfriend or your girl reacts. When you start to build yourself up as a man and you start to gain that confidence and you're starting to uh, make more money and just grow as an individual, some women don't like that. Because once that starts to happen, you start to realize how valuable you are as a man. You start to realize exactly how much value you hold. And when you start to realize your value, that frightens them. And it frightens them because 
when you hold yourself up to a certain standard, you're going to up try to uphold them to that same standard as well. And they know that when you do that, they might not be able to do the same shit that they were doing before because you're not going to tolerate it anymore. Because now, since you've improved yourself as a man, you know that you have options. You know that if you lose her, it is not the end of the world. Because you are not codependent anymore. You are strong mentally upstairs now. And women hate that. Uh, well, let me not say women, but a lot of women don't like that. The moment a man starts to realize what his value is, they don't like that. Because now that means that you are going to start looking at her differently when she starts to do these things that she was probably doing before and you're not going to tolerate it anymore. And a lot of women do not fuck with that. How can I hold myself? How can I follow some of the standards that you have? Despite the fact that you have a long list of standards and as men, we understand this. We don't complain about it. We just do it because that's just the reality of it. Maybe not all of the standards, because, you know, obviously we have our dignity, uh, dignity. There's just certain things that we are not going to do. But if we can understand the standards that you have, you need to have that same understanding. I remember I was I was bouncing at, uh, at my job and I was standing right here. There's a girl who's standing right behind me over here. There's a table right behind me. Pretend like this couch is the table and I'm standing up and her friend is right over here. She comes up to me and she's like, hey, can you uh, move? I can't see my friend dancing. I'm like, OK, because for me, I'm just like, this is the best place where I can stand to where I can get a visual of everybody on the dance floor. I'm doing my job. So I go to her and say, hey. I can't move. I'm doing my job. I got to watch what everybody's doing. And then I go back. And you know what she says? She says, "Ooh, you're sassy. And I'm like, I'm sassy. OK, <laughs> what makes me sassy? She's like, I don't know you. You're just giving off sassy vibes. And you know what I said to her? I said, cool, I'm sassy. And then I continue to do my job. You see, when they say these certain phrases, they are trying to trigger you. They want a reaction out of you because if you don't do what they want you to do, they want to just piss you off. They'll either want to piss you off or they'll either want to emasculate you and make you want to make you feel bad for having standards. They want to make you feel bad for disagreeing with them. You know how stupid that is? You know how fucked up that is? You want to call me sassy. You want to call me insecure because I have standards the same way that you have standards. The moment that I don't agree with something that you agree with or something uh, that you're talking about. I'm insecure. So I can't have my own opinion. And then the moment I have my opinion, I'm insecure. I'm sassy. How does that make sense? What's going on with the sassy apocalypse? Women have always had phrases that they have used against men to emasculate men whenever they could not get their way, whenever things did not work in their favor, whenever men held them up to the same standards that women hold us up to. Men are waking up. We're not taking that bullshit anymore. We are not. If a woman calls you sassy, if a woman calls you insecure, don't get triggered. Be stoic. Stoicism for every man is very important. I've been called insecure. I've been called sassy before and they don't get a reaction out of me whatsoever. Because one, I know that's what they want. And two, I know I'm not insecure. I know I'm not sassy. You don't agree with them. Oh, you're sassy. You have standards. Oh, you're insecure. The sassy apocalypse is among us, guys, and I need you to understand whatever they call you, don't get triggered by it. This is just another tactic that they use to gain control, especially in relationships. If you're in a relationship and you are holding your girlfriend to a certain standard and she calls you insecure for it, she ain't the one for you, bro. Let her know, hey, if you don't want to do this, 
if you don't want to uphold yourself to these standards the way I uphold myself to the standards that you give me, then we don't got to do this anymore. And that's when they'll start to twist it and call you controlling and, and all this shit. Every time, you know, relationships don't work out, it's always the same thing. Oh, he was controlling. That's another manipulation tactic. They call you controlling. I might as well just make this phrases that women use to emasculate men because that's really what it is. Emasculate men and gain control so we can conform to the way they want us to be. Understand, bro, if you have standards for yourself, you are not insecure. You are not sassy. You are not controlling. This is just you having standards for yourself and trying to uphold her to the same standards. That's all that it is. So don't get triggered. Don't get don't get like pissed off or nothing like that. No need for that because that's what that's what she wants. She wants you to get triggered. She wants you to feel bad. She wants you to feel like less of a man. But you're a fucking man. And just because you don't agree with her, just because you have standards for yourself, doesn't make you any less than. Always fucking remember that. And that's all I got for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wanted to make it very straightforward and concise. Thank you guys for the support. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. New videos with the new editor is on the way pretty soon. I'm excited for you guys to see it. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You already know what it is. Bourbon effect out. Peace out. <laughs>